What is going on all of you beautiful people? It's Colossal Kiwi here, bringing you a tutorial and free template for a custom PS4 trophy effect that you can put over your videos. Now I will have rented some sample footage and put it at the beginning of this video that you would have already seen if you've gotten to this point. So yeah, that just gives you a general gist of how this effect is going to look and we're going to use that same footage to put the effect over. Now, when you follow the link in the description and you download the pack, this is what you will see when you open the folder. There's the resources folder, which we'll go into in a minute. There are these PNG images. Just ignore these. Don't delete them though, because you need them, but uh, just ignore them. And there's the Photoshop file for a custom trophy slate, which I will get into soon. But the first thing I'm going to get into are these After Effects projects. So there's the Trophy Notification Animation 720p, and there's the Trophy Notification Animation 1080p. Now it doesn't matter if your footage is 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second, it's going to work just fine either way. So obviously, with this kind of effect, you want to have it over some footage. So the first thing you want to do is prepare your footage, like I've done right here. It's a gentleman doing a wonderful handstand, just, you know, just getting rid of some time, blowing off some steam in, a, in Dying Light. And so once you've got your footage prepared, and you know where, generally where you want the effect to go, all you have to do is click on either of these, you know, depending on whether or not your, your project is 720p or 1080p. Just click and drag it into the project, and it'll take a little while to load. And it's just as easy as that. Now you've got the effect in your project files, and once you extend the folder, the, the item that we are most interested in is this right here, the composition PS4 trophy effect. It's actually a pre-composition, so you want to click and drag this above the footage layer because obviously we want this to appear above the video. And you can see right here, it's already popped up with trophy name here, and uh, yeah, it's popped in right there. And the animation is already built in, so don't worry, I've done most of the work for you. All you have to do is double click on this layer right here and that will take you into the pre-compositions. Don't worry, if you don't know where you are, it's just your original composition is here, and the pre-composition is there. It's just opening it up in another window, and there are several things to point out here, I guess. So, the first thing is the text file, and this is probably what you're most interested in, because obviously, this is a custom PS4 trophy tutorial, and you want a custom name for your trophy. So what you want to do is just click on the layer, click on the text tool effect, and then uh, click on the text and just rewrite it to whatever you want it to be. I think mine is going to be Ultimate Handstand. Yep. And also, before you leave this pre-composition, there are, you can see, Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze, Trophy, uh, PNG images that you can choose from. So I've actually put in the option, so you can see right there there's a Gold Trophy. Take that away. You could have a platinum trophy, or better yet, you could have a, a silver trophy, or you could have a bronze trophy. It's really up to you, but for this, I'm just going to stick to a gold trophy, just because I think it looks the nicest. And all these changes have simultaneously occurred over in this composition. You can see we've got the gold trophy, we've got ultimate handstand, it's already... So all you have to do is, once you've done that, all you have to do is click back onto your original uh, composition, and it's already changed it for you. So that's really cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, all you have to do is decide when you want the trophy to pop up, the notification. So say I want mine to pop up right there, then all you do is click and drag this, you can see there's the animation. So say I want it to appear right there, that's where I want it to finish its animation. So I'll play through it again, just like that. And there you go. Now I would pre-render this and show you, but it's, it would take a few minutes to load or whatever, and you've already seen the footage at the beginning of the video, so you know how this turns out. And then from there, you just want to render the video, and for those of you who don't know, uh, you just click up to composition, you go add to render queue, leave it at best settings, I wouldn't mess with that, it's usually good. Lossless, you can click on that, and I usually use an H.264 uh, MP4 file, and I have my out audio output, obviously, because we want the sound from the notification and the original footage, and then just here is where you choose to render it where you want it to, the file to be once it's done rendering. Now. That's that done, so, you know, if that's all you wanted to do, then that's cool. It was obviously very easy, but I'm going to go into some other stuff, such as the Photoshop file. Now, if you want to customize the notification, the trophy notification, a bit more, then you can do so in here. You can see I've got the trophy picture, and you, once you take that away, there's a dying light one that's revealed, because this was originally a dying light uh, notification animation for a Dying Light trophy, but I just went over it and changed it so it was customized. So, you have that picture right there, you can keep that one, or you can put in your own one, obviously. And then, once again, we have the trophies, you can choose from the different kinds of trophies. 
and there's the text obviously if you want to do this all in one thing instead of just having the text in after effects you know you can change the text right here as well and the last folder is black squares don't worry about these it's just covering up other stuff that you know was originally in the notification that i wanted to cover up because obviously it would look weird as you can see there's, there's like two sentences there um and the last thing i'll go over is the resources folder and these are just a bunch of png images and the sound effects just the resources that i use to create this so if you want to have a bit of fun with those you can go ahead and do so but that is all for this tutorial i hope you found it useful and uh i look forward to seeing what kind of tr custom effects you guys are going to come up with but anyway i would like to thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day